Hello friends, in this video we are going to discuss about uh, the concept of singular and non-singular matrix. Okay, so we have already discussed about the concept of determinants and how to determine the determinants of uh, a second and third order matrix. So this concept of singularity and non-singularity of matrices is related to the concept of determinants. Okay. So, first let us see what is the definition of a singular matrix. A square matrix, okay, a square matrix, uh, let's say A, is singular, okay, it is said to be singular. if its determinant is equal to 0 okay if the determinant of the square matrix is 0 then it is said to be singular and it is non-singular if determinant is not equal to 0 just the opposite it is non-singular if determinant is not equal to 0 okay so the singularity and non singularity of uh, matrices it uh, plays a huge role in solving of uh, the linear equations to determine the number of solutions the consistency of the linear equations if they have any linear relationship between them the rank of a matrix so various things comes into play uh, while dealing with uh, the concept of singular and uh, non-singularity of a matrix we will discuss that in detail in other videos but this video we will going to just uh, focus on singular and non-singular matrix so a singular matrix is one whose determinant is equal to zero and non-singular is one whose determinant is not equal to zero. So these are some of the examples of uh, singular matrices of order two. Okay, as you can see here. So as you can calculate just by looking that the determinant value of these matrices are zero. Okay, so still let's just calculate for the first matrix the determinant value will be. 1 into 6 minus 3 into 2 which is 1 into 6 minus 3 into 2 which is equal to 6 minus 6 equals to 0 so it is singular for the second one it is simply 1 into 2 minus 1 into 2 which is equal to 2 minus 2 equals to 0 similarly for the third one it is 3 into 8 minus 12 into 2 which is 24 minus 24 which is equal to 0 similarly for the fourth one it is minus 3 into minus 18 minus 6 into 9 which is equal to 54 minus 54 equals to 0 so these are some of the examples of uh, singular matrices of order 2 that is the determinant values are equal to 0 so now let us uh, discuss uh, some singular matrices of order 3. Here we have two matrices. So let us see whether they are singular or not by calculating their determinants. So first we will evaluate the determinant of this matrix. So let us do that. So this determinant value is equal to, we are considering the first row, it is 1 into the this determinant will determine so it is 9 minus minus 9 then it is minus of minus 1 into 3 minus minus 15 okay plus 3 into 3 minus 15 
which is equal to 1 into 18 plus minus or minus 1 it is plus 1 into 18 3 minus 1 is 15 is 18 plus 3 into minus 12 which is equal to 18 plus 18 minus 36 is equal to 36 minus 36 is equal to 0. So the determinant value of the first matrix is 0. So it is a singular matrix. It is singular. Okay. So now let us determine the determinant value of the second third order matrix. Okay. Here We'll, we are considering the first row as reference so it will be 1 into 40 minus 40 which is 4 into 10 minus 8 into 5 which is 40 minus 40 minus 3 okay it will be 20 minus 24 that is 2 into 10 minus 3 into 8 plus 6 into 2 into 5 minus 3 into 4 that is 10 minus 12 which is equal to 0 minus 3 into minus 4 plus 6 into minus 2 which is equal to 12 minus 12 which is equal to 0 so the terminal value of the second matrix is also 0. So this is also a singular matrix. Okay. So this is also a singular matrix. So here we have uh, taken some examples of singular matrices of second order and third order. Okay.